what do you make of him as a fighter? What what skill set does he have? What does he offer? Say it again. What skill set does Kamaru bring to that fight? What 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 is the challenge for you that night? I don't know, man. He's a, he's a boring ass dude, man. And here's the thing: if I'm if I'm speaking from a, from straight tactical point, he's not gonna want to strike, and he doesn't really like fully commit to wrestling either. All he fully commits to is stalling, mm-hmm. just being a f-ing stall machine, man. You know, for the first time he didn't stall with this guy, and it was a kickboxing match, and the world gave him all types of praise for it because he wasn't his usual boring self, and he actually threw some fish. But we all know he's not going to throw fists when it comes to him. He's going to try to act like he's going to throw fists, and then he's going to go for the takedown. And he's going to quickly find out, I'll never get held down by that guy. I won't get out grappled by that guy. I'll put my life on it. I'll put my money on it. I'm, I'm firmly in the firm belief system that I'm a better fighter than him, and I'm going to prove it on July. Now, I don't want to keep making that guy famous, so let's talk about somebody else. Because that's going to happen, but that's going to happen in July, man. I'm, let's I'm, talk... Well, let's I'm, let's. I'm gonna back up every word I've said. Listen, I don't doubt you, man. Listen, uh, I want to talk about the resurrection, right? But I don't want to just talk about 2019 because for me, resurrection started maybe eight, 18 months previous. The the other day, BT Sport was showing a rerun of 217, the card, and you fought Stephen Thompson on that card, right? And I, I was watching it at home, and I was thinking to myself, it doesn't look like this version of Jorge Masvidal, you know? There's definitely been a Jorge Masvidal. 2.0 that we've now seen since since 2019. Talk to me about the fight with Stephen Thompson, then 2018 not fighting, going away, obviously on the reality TV show, and then landing in London, where obviously you did what you did and started a phenomenal year. Well, for starters, I'll say, man, Thompson, I've always stopped before the fight and after the fight, he's a stud, you know? And I, I had to be very, very on point and calculated. And I had I had done my homework on Thompson. I did a math formula on him. And where I messed up was is that I didn't adjust enough the right times. Like once I saw that the formula of of, uh, of plan A wasn't working, I should adapt and go. But I was so with this, I'm going to catch him, I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to catch him, I'm going to knock him out, that I, I, I didn't switch myself up. So that's something that as soon as I, I left from that fight, I saw so many other avenues that I could have took the fight to when I didn't. I just stayed in this one thing, made myself super predictable, was in a, in a steady rhythm of just doing the same And I said, no, nah, that, that had to change dramatically. It's strategy is everything. I can't I can't be this this uh, shell of myself that I had brought to the front line of a battle because I was just so insistent on just one strategy. And there's many strategies to a battle. So hats off to Tom because he fought amazing that night and he was very lucid and he, he did his thing, man. Um, but there's been a lot of changes since that moment, you know, strategically, well, we'll talk, physically, mentally, yeah. spiritually. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. We spoke about it previously, man. It's the mental change of it. That year out, not fighting at all in 2018 and spending a little bit of time around other athletes from other disciplines on the reality TV show. You've spoke about that show itself, of how that time away, weirdly, what we're experiencing now in isolation kind of got you absolutely lasered in. And we saw the re- results of that in, in 2019. Talk to me about the mental change. What, what, what is the change? What has, what has changed in Jorge Masvidal's head? Well, uh, a, a tribute to that change is, uh, is the Thompson fight helped as well as well as the Maya fight as well as any fight I lost in the UFC or before the UFC. And all of my losses, I sat down objectively and tried to be, obviously I was going to be biased, but I tried to be as least biased as I could because it's just me by myself. So who am I lying to? Only to me by myself. So I, I really dug down inside and, and, and thought, what time did I have the best performances at? What did I eat? How did I sleep that night? What did I do? And at first my thoughts were like a clergy court that hasn't been filed in years and my thoughts were scattered everywhere. But the days turned into weeks, and the weeks turned into months, and I was able to to put every moment that I could think of in my head in its own file, in its own file box, and just dissect that situation. It's like, how, how do I do better? If, if I sleep like this, how do I perform better if I, if I do that? And that mm-hmm. came up with a, with a formula for me. That formula, though, that's like the, 
I, I wrote it on the chalkboard. Now I got to go out there in real life and, and get it done. And that's where the, the, the mind change really has to flick. So I have to tell myself, I found this formula now, right? But if I half pass it, what does it matter? Because if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. You know, so that that's where the, the real mind switch comes. Like, I, I think I have this formula. I think I, I have this secret recipe for fighting right here in my hand, but I, I still have so much work to do to bring this into the real world. And that's where you got to make that switch and, man, you got to give it all you got into your craft. In, in, my, in my life, it's easy. I just got to submerge myself in this and this is what I do all day long. Just, train, man. just keep the temple ready and right. You can, you can see that difference though, man. From, from the Stephen Thompson fight, just body language, the Stephen Thompson fight to the Nate Diaz fight, you look like a different guy. I mean, obviously the victories help, I suppose, putting into practice what you're thinking in your head and, and winning in the style that you're winning. But just from the way you walked to the octagon against Nate, the way that you fought against Nate, the way that you carried it out against Nate, it was just like confidence was obviously pouring out your body. Yeah, I was definitely uh, very confident at the start of the year. Um, and, and along with the formula and then having the mind thing, I also knew... Well, shit, man, I got a, I got a lot of negativity. I got a tremendous amount of negativity that I just have it in my life for no reason. It needs to be cut away. It needs to be stripped away. And that's something that I immediately eradicated. I, I immediately got to, to <clears throat> getting away from that cloud of cancer, you know, in, in mm. many ways in life. And this goes to anybody hearing this. You, you, you hearing this, you got it too. There's so much negativity around this and we don't even notice it. You know, so I made sure to stay clear around it. And that's it, man. That's that's another huge change that I was able to do that I saw. And, and I wouldn't have seen it because in the fog, it's hard to see that sometimes out of the fog, you know. So I had to get out of the fog. I had to get away from all this madness to be able to see how much negativity I truly had around me and then just. So Usman's next. Then what, man? Then what? Once, you, once you've become welterweight champion, then what? What are you going to do then? I got I got a lot of goals and lists, man. I got a lot. Just I, I just eight 2018. I have a notebook. I, I don't have a physical one because I'm not a big writer that much. But I have a notebook, a mental one, which is HD, 4K, the super hard drive, all that shit. in there. I have notes, accomplishments, goals, tasks, quotas I wanted to meet for 2019. I hit most of. Them. I can tell you that much. When you say most, what else was on there then that you didn't I, hit? I can't I can't tell you, my brother. Because is that coming? Because it's for 2020. It surprises. I just want to, <laughs> when, I, when I do, I like to do these things and then tell you because I'm such a f***ing <laughs> petty <laughs> You'll be like, I told you so. <laughs> so. I just wait. I just wait till I hit them targets and I'll tell you, bam. Okay, then. Answer this. How long do you think it'll take you to hit all those targets? I'm asking you that now. Three years. About three years? So three you're years. saying three years? Is that you done in MMA or what? Or are you going to continue even after that and set some new targets? No, in, in three years' time, I'm, I'm done fighting. I, I competitively every year, three, four times a year. I, I don't think I could ever truly say, I was thinking about it the other day that I'm retired, guys. I'm never going to fight again. I don't think yeah. I can say that because I think I'm the type of guy that will come back at 43 years old. The three, four, five, six years, I don't think I have the urge to stay away from it. I will yeah. give into that urge. I will just be a bitch and I go, oh, I got to go fight again. I miss it, you know? So I'm not going to say I, I, I'm retired three years from now, but I'm going to say I'm going to take my extended break, you know? Okay. Uh, right now, I'm already approaching almost 17 years pro. I know, oh, yeah, right around that time, you know, at 38 years old, I'm going to take a nice long break. I, maybe I don't come back. Maybe I do come back. But at, but at that moment, I will have fulfilled all the things I wanted to do in this part of my life. You know full well you'll come back. It's in your blood. Say it again? You know full well that you'll come back. It's in your blood. Yeah, I, yeah. At some point, it'll drag me back, man. You know, it'll drag me back. So I won't say retired. I'll just an extended vacation, you know? Listen. You stay safe, my man. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight again. Thank Take you care. Brother. You stay safe as well. Stay out these streets.